Dr. Rifkin's about to come in and he's gonna take a picture of my teeth. We're getting our teeth whitened. We're gonna be blinging. Our teeth are gonna bling. bling. I'm Susan Yara. And I'm Ana Jimenez. We're beauty editors. We try every new treatment, product, trend, you name it. Sometimes we love it and sometimes not, not so, so much. much. But it's always an experience. This is Beauty Experienced. Like most Americans, we like to have our morning cup of coffee. But also like most Americans, still want super white teeth. That's why we're here in Beverly Hills, California at the office of cosmetic dentist, Dr. Lawrence Rifkin, to find out which technique he thinks is best to get a Hollywood worthy smile. And then we're going to experience it. What do you think is the best way to get the whitest teeth possible? Well, the most rapid way is one that's done in the in-office professional teeth whitening. We use the higher percentage of uh, and stronger bleaches because we can protect the gum tissue and the lips from the bleach. The higher the percentage and the longer contact time it is on your teeth, the better the whitening. A lot of people think that maybe they should just use whitening toothpaste or other at-home treatments. Do those work, do you think? All forms of the hydrogen peroxide work with different percentages. They work as a maintenance, but they're really not going to jumpstart you with that brighter smile. But, okay, so here's the thing though. Yes. We're, we're afraid that the bleaching is going to hurt. Is this true? And Does it happen? Of, yeah, I think a lot of women are nervous mm -hmm. about they've heard the wind blows and my teeth are hurting and that to me yeah. scare, it sounds scary. Right, well that's good questions. That's why seeing your dentist is the best way to get a good start on. In the doctor's office, when we review your teeth and take a good examination, we can protect those areas and say, you're not quite ready for whitening yet. Let's desensitize your teeth first with some fluoride and then go back in and professionally with isolation techniques of your gum tissue and the recession areas around your roots, then whiten the teeth, just the enamel, that's really what we want to whiten anyway, and do it with the least amount of chance for temperature sensitivity. You still might have some sensitivity for a day to two days, maybe up to three days. We're a little bit nervous, we're not gonna lie, we haven't actually experienced You've never yet. bleached or whitened no, your teeth before? No, we both never have. We're not gonna look very pretty on camera, are we? We're gonna be like... You're gonna look so gorgeous. <laughs> Once our Q&A was over, it was time to get our teeth whitened. Okay, so here's the process for you today. We're gonna take some photographs beforehand, we're gonna take a little shade tab and match and see what color that you start at so we have a reference point for how white we're gonna get our teeth. Then you're gonna sit back and relax and then we'll start the process of the bleaching. We start with basically you know, lubricating the lips so that it's nice and comfortable, keep your lips from drying out. We isolate and retract your lips so that we can get access to the teeth, everything that shows, back and front. Then we apply a surface of gel, kind of a silicone coating over the gum tissue and any root surfaces that could be susceptible to sensitivity. Then we apply the bleaching gel on top of that. It's painted on, you sit there, relax, watch TV, listen to music, chill out for about 15, 20 minutes for that application to work. Then we rinse it off and repeat it. After that, you're pretty much done. We, re we peel off the little silicone protection off the gum tissue and teeth, take out the little retractors, lubricate your mouth again, you get the chance to look at your teeth and see the whitening process and you should have a really nice result depending on how dark your teeth started in the beginning. Okay, so let's see the result. Wow. I like looking on this too. I don't always say wow, by the way. It depends on how white your teeth are, how stained they are. Your teeth are pretty white and so were yours. I know that yours came off uh, three shades lighter. Wow. And that's pretty amazing considering you started off at a B1, which is a pretty light shade. So anything we need to know about for maintenance? Uh, yes, the first 24 hours I would stay away from red wines, colas, anything that's dark that could stain your teeth. Just stay away from that, you know, whiter, clear fluids and, and uh, beverages would be fine. And after about 24, 48 hours, you can pretty much go back to anything you want. And just like that, we were pleasantly surprised with the results. I feel like that was pretty painless. That was much more painless. Actually, it was completely painless and I was expecting worse. It was an hour, I was comfortable, I got to watch TV, I had a blanket, and now my teeth are white. My teeth are white too. Your teeth are really white. Your teeth are really white. No. <laughs> anyway, I, I recommend this. I would too. Yep. Thumbs up. See you soon.